John, is uh, who was the administration you know, and family within Philly? Who are the, some of the guys you met and what's left of the Philly North Jersey crew as far as you know? Um, obviously, I met uh, Joey Molino. He's their boss. I met uh, Stevie Mazzone, who's their underboss. I met uh, uh, Anthony Scoops Lakata, who's their concierge. Um, he was a skipper. Um, I met uh, Johnny Chang, Johnny Changalini. Uh, I was a friend with them. Um, I met um, Sonny Mazzone, who was just straightened out, uh, who's Stevie's brother. And I met... Um, Dominic Grande, who is in, you know, these guys are in trouble right now. He's, he's a cap regime with them. Um, you know, to the second part of the question is that they, they are in trouble because they locked up uh, some serious members. Um, they, you know, Stevie Mazzone and Dominic Grande, he was one of their key uh, skippers out there in the street. And um, so, I, I mean, where they're at right now, I don't know. Back then, they were you know, they were operating, <laughs> you know, um, I don't, I don't know where they're at right now. I mean, I, I would assume they're going to have trouble regrouping, you know, it's not, it's not looking good. Now, um, more question additional to that is, and again, let's go for maybe at the time that you're aware and obviously what you knew, what were yeah. the, what, how big were the family numbers, the range, maybe number of members? Who are you talking about? The, about, the, about Philly specifically. I yeah, I, I tell you the truth, I don't have that answer. I don't, I always yeah. wondered myself, like how, how, you know, what kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of Bugatti did these guys got? I don't know. They, they, it, they were very, very different than us. Um, right. You know, more like a, I mean, I mean, look, it's nice that these guys all grew up together and yeah. they're friends since childhood and they're very, very close and, it's admirable, but I, I just think that they were more like, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to call them kids because, you know, I'm not saying it in, in a disrespectful uh, term, but they were like, more like kids hanging out, you know, uh, in their area, and I, I, I can't explain it, they were just very different than us. They were doing a lot of drinking and <laughs> partying and, you know, um, they were, you know, they're very different. You know, they're very, very different. But, you know, um, you know, at one time, and I'm sure they still are, they were a dangerous uh, crew. Um, I don't know their numbers. I don't know, um, you know, I don't know who they have and, you know, how many how many skippers they had. I only, you know, met, met one. So I, I don't know the answer to that. Interesting. Um, and this was a New Jersey, New York question, same guy. Um, and I know, like, I think you were telling me that not just the bananas, but people said, hey, stay away from social clubs, stay away from, you know, weddings, funerals, that kind of stuff. So one of the questions is, where do wise guys socialize and meet today with most of the social clubs closed? So how, how did you socialize? Um, well, in restaurants. Yeah. Okay. We were in restaurants and, you know, we, we uh, got together and we we got together and we, we would meet for dinner or we would meet for drinks, you know, and things like that. And sometimes at somebody's house. So we, we did socialize a lot, but just, you know, it, it was not, it was not um, at, at a, a typical um, social club. We had the club up in the Bronx we used to go to, um, but it eventually, eventually they closed it down. You know, they, probably got smart and realized that they the fbi was sitting down the block taking pictures they were they weren't hiding the fact that they were doing that you know what though john real quick um this is what 